Mary Cassette, Extraordinary Impressionist Painter by Barbara Herkert. When Mary was a girl in Pennsylvania, she knew she'd be an artist one day. In 1860, proper girls weren't artists. They had polite hobbies, flower arranging, needlepoint, not Mary. Mary grew up tall and temperamental, the map of her fate etched in her mind. Just before her 16th birthday, she charged down Chestnut Street, raring to enroll in art school. Mary was first on the list. Mary studied hard at the academy and planned her next move. She had to travel abroad. A treasure trove of art awaited her in Paris. Her father grumbled, out of the question. Mary held her course. The Louvre Museum was Mary's classroom. She copied the old masters and dreamed of seeing her art in the celebrated show, The Salon. Impossible. Not for Mary. Mary pressed her nose against a gallery window, absorbing pastel drawings by Edgar Degas, a riot of color. She smiled and later said, I saw art then as I wanted to see it. Mary swept jewel tones across her canvas. She rendered cropped angles, sparkling light. The salon judges found her new work hasty, her palette harsh. Bah, what did they know? The great Degas rapped on Mary's studio door. Join our band of independents, he proposed. We paint as we please. We break the judge's rules. Mary beamed. I began to live, she said. Mary painted what she saw. She captured glimpses of life. Her long hands flew, dabbing brilliant tones, lightning bolts of white. Mary attended shows at the theater, her sketchbook in hand. She strolled through museums, her sister by her side. Mary's outspoken opinions echoed down aisles lined with exotic Asian art. Mary's family came to live with her in Paris. She painted her mother, her sister, reading, sewing, drinking tea. Her father might have been a better model if only he'd stay awake. Color splashed across Mary's canvas, canary yellow, radiant pink, vibrant blue. Pastel strokes flurried over paper, sharp and blurry, straight and zigzagged. Mary produced a multitude of prints, etchings, monotypes, working with Degas and on her own. For Mary, art was life. Life was art. Mary celebrated mothers and their babies in her paintings. She sought and found truth. Now her heart hangs in fine museums. She proved that women can be great artists too.